Hey guys, Chris here with Ron Boots Farm, and today we're talking about the barn. All right, guys, I want to do an update on the barn. Uh, some of y'all have been around for a while on our channel. Uh, probably saw the video we put out last year uh, where we talked about enclosing the barn. And I'll see if I can find any video that I have readily, avail readily available. Uh, to put out here but uh, to put in here uh, but and hopefully you can hear me the neighbor of course is mowing now but uh, right here where this trailer is uh, all this was corrals if you remember uh, this barn uh, was it's 60 by 60 and it was only let me get around here where you can see maybe uh, right here right behind my head um, all that was uh, open and this end right here was closed in where the electrical meter is down this uh, far end and 20 feet on the other side. Uh, the rest of it was just uh, corrals uh, that came uh, all the way out uh, just to the other side of the trailer here. There was four corrals and they went up into the middle and there was the same on the other side. Uh, the people we bought the house from raised show cattle and uh, well actually we didn't buy it from them, the people that built it and then the people that we uh, bought it from uh, had horses that they kept in here. And of course we do not have that. We have the donkeys in the back and the chicken pen uh, that we added on to the chicken barn on the back. And so uh, this just, we wanted to close in and make a, um, well, we don't know exactly. We're gonna have some storage spaces and uh, in, in a workshop. So I'll show some video of that. Uh, I do have some of when we enclosed it in and when they uh, uh, poured the concrete on the inside. So I will uh, splice some of that in here. <laughs> some of the other video 60 by 60 it's only enclosed in on the end down there 20 feet on each uh, side there and then across the end with the two sliding doors don't know if you can see that with the shadow it's got the two 10 foot sliding doors um, and we had the corrals that went out here that were here when we bought the place and out the other side of course and some of that had been cut out and we decided to go ahead and just cut them all out that weren't using them but the donkeys did get up in there but uh, we may give the donkeys away if we can find a good home for them or we may, if we don't, we'll build another uh, shelter out there in the back for them. Uh, but what we decided to do was have this cut out. What we're eventually gonna do is put a, a overhang uh, carport off the front to park trailers and stuff under. And to, to get around to make it easier in parking, we decided to go ahead and cut this side out so you could drive um, up from the front, come around uh, this area and pull through instead of having to pull over there where the garden is and try to back up and all that especially if we have a camper or anything later we want to put under there and so this area here that i had planned to make an orchard if you've seen other videos you may have heard me talk about this is going to be the orchard area in fact if you've seen the video where i almost locked myself out i'll try to put a link in there uh, to that that's one reason we put this fence here uh, to keep the donkeys out because this is going to be an orchard but we did decide it would be easier to make this a drive around 
uh, and I can still kind of plant trees once I figure out the path where you come around here um, in the corners and things I can uh, still plant fruit trees etc and all that pipe uh, with the the guys here and of course here it is where we cut it out and there's some more uh, stacked over there they're in the middle of that they started this morning they got all of that cut out and again I'll try to find some footage hopefully you've seen on the front of this where um, some I took uh, earlier when I was getting bids uh, for contractors and all that some of them i just took a video of what i wanted and sent it to them and so i can take that and maybe do a little bit of a voiceover um, but they got all the front and the back cut out today and most of the interior of course there's full of junk stuff we've been bringing up here um, from our old place and uh, also uh, my mom's place i'll talk a little bit about that maybe in another video uh, but they are going to cut all that out and get their measurements tomorrow and they are going to close in the entire thing uh, so that we can use it for storage and workshop and that kind of thing so I'm going to cut that off for here and over the next few days as they uh, do more work, I will be back and add on to this. So long for now. <music> seen uh, the video that I had of them uh, a little bit of uh, pictures and video of them closing the barn in plus uh, the concrete work here is the other end and hopefully that sun I know it's killer uh, let me get over here maybe where there's not so much glare uh, we had them put barn doors sliding barn doors just like on the other end uh, it's all grown up over here we had all this rain and just haven't been able to get here and mow everything every every weekend for the past probably two months it's been wet and muddy uh, there's a trailer over the little small trailer over there so that's why i didn't get close to it over here we got a bunch of old lumber that i had stacked in the barn that i plan on using for trim on, on some of the work that i'm going to do in there uh, closing in on our storage room so but yeah this is what it uh, looks like some of the old corrals are laying over there that's why that's not mowed hopefully you can see that and uh some over here as well i've actually sold all that pipe on facebook marketplace but uh the guy came and paid a deposit probably two months ago, but uh, with all the rain, he hasn't been able to get here on a weekend uh, to pick it up. It's been too muddy. So here's the backside. Again, there was corrals that came all the way out about to right here. And if uh, you might can see that gate over there that's leaning up, that gate used to go uh, from the corner of the corral to the corner of the chicken pen. So we took all that down and closed it in. And that's what it looks like. So uh, we're gonna make a workshop on one side. I'll take you inside and let you see part of it. There's a lot of stuff stacked up. Uh, uh, as I said in one of my other videos, my mom and them are in the process of moving here and a lot of the stuff from their house is stacked up in there. But we'll take a look. Goats. You and goats. And that sun is killer. What you doing, goats? All right, guys, hopefully you can see in here this is the inside 60 by 60 I know it looks junky uh, but basically uh, there was a bunch of stuff in here um, already from when we moved in we then moved uh, cabinets and stuff that we're actually going to use out here um, when we remodeled our house when we decided to close in the barn we had to move a bunch out and everything that was on this side had to be moved over to that side so they could pour the concrete so everything just got stacked up over there then um, we had to start moving stuff for my mom and grandmothers and stuff we had in storage so a lot of that stuff just got uh, stacked down at the end that's why it's such a mess and i will do another video but what's holding us up from cleaning it up some and i'll have to back up where you can see it but uh, there used to be an old wash station right here uh, for the people who uh, had built this barn and on the other side of that wall is an old uh, tack room and uh, we ripped all that out it was full of uh, the walls were full of mice poop and dead brats and uh, all kinds of stuff and everything was wonky where it had been hit and all that the metal studs were bent so we had to do some work so i'll do another video but we're basically turning this into uh two basically storage rooms the one on the other side i plan to use as my the old tack room i'm going to use as my um, seed starting room there's a door right out and the garden is just uh, out this way and uh, this is going to be like a big uh, storage room for christmas stuff and uh, other things like that that I want to get out of the house, but I don't necessarily just want setting in a unheated, uh, un uh, climate controlled barn. So 
that will have uh, air conditioning and stuff at one time. I still don't know exactly what we're going to do on this end, but really the, the plan is right now is I will probably, uh, once all this other side is set up, we'll put uh, concrete over there and uh, probably make that a guest room. Uh, to, and put like in my grandparents' antique furniture and stuff like that. It'd be a place for my dad and brother, things like that, to, uh, people like that to stay when they come over. So, but this side we did have concrete poured, and you should have seen video of that already, or I will splice that in here, one of the two. And uh, this will uh, be our workshop side. So, um, we'll, there's going to be a wall built in here that'll be insulated. Everything will be insulated up once we run electric and all that into the wall. It'll be closed in, and then all of the uh, like these uh, storage shelves, um, things like that, workbenches. Uh, you can see some over there. All that will be uh, set up in some sort of configuration over here. Uh, we did leave this pipe in here uh, that was part of the corrals, but I think I'm gonna uh, sand this down, paint it, and this will be used to potentially hang uh, carcasses on or if we want to uh, butcher any animals, especially in the winter when it's cold or something. You can just put a tarp down right here, uh, hang them from that and butcher. There's already water. Uh, that rag there there's a uh, water coming up there so um, that will be run uh, down the wall uh, just as you can see it kind of is over there you can see the insulated pipe running down so that will be there uh, there will be we have two sinks uh, i'm sorry a sink and another just countertop that we took out of the house just a faux marble uh, tops that were in the house that we took out that i saved so we're going to put them here and that will be for uh, washing uh, any meat or for uh, bringing in eggs in here to wash so we don't have to take them in the house and wash them in the kitchen sink uh, so it'll be kind of like a sink washing station all of that and then again the rest will be a workshop so that is the plan i'll show you something else pretty cool hopefully you can see it because of the dirt i need to vacuum i'm sorry i don't need to vacuum i need to sweep but uh in fact let me go ahead and sweep it and i'll show all right you. guys back got it swept off and i wanted to show you this thought it was pretty cool uh, the day they did the concrete, we had quite a bit of our family here and they stayed until it was dry enough to come put our handprints in there. So, Hiltzman, there's our last name, the date, 216-19. And then uh, we had uh, Mo, that's my great-grandmother. Mimi, that's my mom, that's what the kids call her. My dad, and my brother, uh, my wife, Brooke, uh, myself, Chris, and my daughter and my son. So we were all out here putting our handprints in before it dried. So that will be here from now on. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's a house somewhere in Longview, Texas that has uh, my handprints in the concrete on the back of the house uh, out there from when I was a kid. And there's a house in Bogota, Texas that has my great-grandfather's handprint in the concrete. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'll leave y'all with that. This is the uh, update on the barn. And we'll do some more updates uh, later on the room uh, over here. Catch y'all in the next one.